Pioneering winemaker Carl Kaiser continues to expand his range and brings a new style of ice wine to the table, sparkling ice wine. Let's try this. The, the bubbling itself makes the sugar sensation less pronounced, but the process to retain all the freshness directly from the chew stage keeps all possible fruit qualities um, and the aromatics very much present in the sparkling wine. And the sparkling wine, the sparkling itself, of course, enhances that uh, because the, the bubbles uh, pull out from the liquid a lot of the aromatic compounds. There are two schools of thought concerning ice wine. One is that it's best served on its own with good company. Others argue it can be enhanced when paired with food, perhaps with foie gras as an appetizer or fruit-based desserts at the end of a meal. Either way, ice wine certainly has its place at the table or in the kitchen. We joined prominent pastry chef Anna Olson for a quick course on how to make ice wine sabayon over an apple tart tatin. Well, it is quite simple. Um, you prepare it immediately before you serve it. It does not keep um, in the refrigerator, and it's delicious because it is warm. We'll start with four egg yolks and add sugar, lemon juice, and ice wine. Whisk for about two minutes. See how it's starting to come together a bit, getting a little tighter. When I lift the whisk, it leaves a ribbon on the sauce itself, and that's how you know it's thick enough. And we are going to spoon this around our apple tart. Oh, can you ever smell? Mm-hmm. And a little trick, just to make it more glamorous, sprinkle some icing sugar over. Using a little butane torch, we're going to caramelize the top. And here we have the finished product. Apple tartatin with an ice wine sabayon. And what would you serve with that? Ice wine, of course. All right. <laughs> Put that on your tasting mat. You see here, mark the sweet glasses you eliminate, and they will... Perhaps the best indication of ice wine's blossoming status is the recent development of its own unique glass. In 1999, I was invited to sit on a panel chosen to determine what vessel would best reveal the essence of ice wine. Considering all the appropriate entries, the panel narrowed down the choices to three and placed them in the hands of world-renowned glassmaker Georges Riedel. Ice wine is, on the other hand, a very concentrated uh, uh, product, and therefore you have chosen uh, a glass of this, of this size to give the air space to the wine in order to show off the complexity of, of the aromas. The Riedel family has been making glassware in Austria for 250 years. Four. George's father, Klaus, is credited with being the first to discover the subtle complementary relationship between the design of the glass and the character of the wine. If you didn't taste, if you don't taste yourself, you wouldn't believe it. I would say that it is very, very important. It is uh, that uh, fine wine has a complexity, a delicacy, which in the right glass can be emphasized, can be highlighted. Uh, in the wrong glass, it, uh, the wine goes flat. The wine loses uh, its sparkle, so to speak. So I, I would say that when you perceive wine in the right glass, uh, you maximize your enjoyment in drinking fine wine. A year later, Ice Wine's own distinct glass made its debut, marking the end of the millennium and the beginning of a new era in the industry. Come to an exclusive wine tasting in Niagara Falls. The attire is formal and the expectations are high. You won't find any champagne or fine European wine served here tonight. Now these people are here to discover and to celebrate the fine, world-renowned ice wines of Ontario. Ice wine, they have. Thank you. Yes, 
it's something that we really own as an industry. Uh, we make more of it than any other industry around the world. Uh, we do it better than anybody else. Our standards are higher. And that's pretty much the perception internationally. So it's, it's the key to our export initiative. People know that Canadian ice wine is, is kind of renowned, you know, around the world. And I think it's got a very high, high respect and regard among wine connoisseurs. We've been uh, now getting into the EU markets, uh, selling in Italy and France, uh, selling to the Germans, uh, the Netherlands and, and Brussels as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to try the It's fantastic. I was just in Germany and it was, it, it, people's eyes open up because it, particularly in Germany where they know it very well and they know how difficult it is to make, they were just amazed by it and amazed by uh, the Riesling, the quality, the ageability. They're just uh, excited, very excited. Ice wine for Canada is our lead product internationally. There's just no question. Uh, just for cognac for France, ice wine is for Canada. It's the most exciting aspect of our industry because I guess as a Canadian, it's the best part about it is that uh, we've made a virtue of necessity. I mean, we've always struggled with the idea of growing grapes in Canada, being winemakers in Canada. It always seemed counterintuitive to people from other countries. But they understand ice wine. Ice wine makes sense as a Canadian product, and so it makes it easy to go out into the world and, and market ourselves as winemakers. Although true ice wine is also made in Germany and Austria, Canada is now the largest producer of ice wine in the world in terms of both quantity and quality. A genuine Canadian success story, it is heralded with that most Canadian of expressions, understatement. The industry will produce about 80,000 bottles this year, 10 times what was made a mere decade ago. And although much of that production will be earmarked for export, the market Ontario winemakers are most eager and proud to serve is here at home. It was a freak winter storm 200 years ago in Germany that gave birth to ice wine. But in Canada, winter's not a problem. And our Canadian winemakers wait in anticipation for these harsh conditions to produce the best ice wines in the world. If you have comments on this program or ideas for future episodes, write to us. Our email address is discover at lcbo.com.